A crazy day out there, almost as we scripted it. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. Todd Bubba Horowitz with you. And of course, a wild day. And, and, and as we started to talk about late last week, that the markets that we felt that the tops were in the markets and that, that we would be looking for rallies to sell. Well, of course, I did not expect to see such a big sell off early in the morning today, but we did see that. And of course, we got that big rally back. So this is the rally that we want to watch. This is the rally that we're going to be looking to sell when it gets to the right levels. Now, right now, we're looking at 29.20 in the S&P would be a, a possible level we'd take, like to take a look at. But it was easy to see, and I, not, well, not easy, I shouldn't say it that way, but I texted out about, uh, about 2 o'clock, and I said, the VIX is too high. The market should probably have a little bit of a turnaround. And, of course, they did have a turnaround. The Dow actually getting up on the day. Now, I'm taping this before the close, so I don't know exactly where the closing prices are, but I'll tell you where I think they'll be. And I think that you'll see the Dow may indeed end up closing up on the day. I think the NASDAQ will stay down. I think the S&P might sell off a little bit later into the end of the day. And I think the Russell will continue to try to push back, although lower again. As we've noticed, the Russell and the NASDAQ have been under the most amount of pressure, which is a key a component to when we talk about risk on, risk off. The markets are still making more new lows than new highs, which is not a bullish sign. Interest rates are still rising, even though the bond markets were closed today. The markets, the, the interest rates continued to rise. And of course, our, our key figure, our key number was three and a half percent in the tenure. And of course, we're, we're gaining on it. And of course, we, we, we've been able to manage the hold above that long bond number of 3.3. And that's something to be very concerned about. Now, again, this is not the, the go out and sell everything and get short and, and, and just say the markets are going down. But there are a lot of warning signs out here. There's a lot of things that don't look good. There's a lot of things that look like the comparison of 1937. So again, investors should sit tight. Hopefully you're hedged, but you should not get panicked. And you should really, basically what you should do is turn off the news until the markets start to turn back around. But again, we think that there's going to be a pretty heavy sell-off here. We think that we're going to see some pretty big push to the downside. And, and again, I think that the, I would think that based on right now what I'm seeing, and this can change, but right now, I think the markets give up most of their gains for the year, if not all their gains for the year. So that's what we're looking at. And I then think that money is going to flow into uh, the agricultural and the commodities. We saw gold under tremendous pressure today, and that's great. I mean, I'm happy to see that because it gives me an opportunity to, to try to buy it down around that 1180 level. Uh, silver came down a little bit, but is, I think it's broken out, so we want to look to be a buyer of silver. Grains? Kind of mixed picture today, but I think they're okay to be bought. Again, I, they were right up against some key levels. We'd be a looker to be a buyer of, of grains in here. Meats look great. We'd look to be a buyer of dips there. So again, we're looking to buy certain things, and we're still looking to sell oil. Uh, oil had a wild day, was down quite a bit, then came all the way back and, and closed somewhere mid-range. So, you know, at the end, we still want to watch. We still got to be a little bit more patient. We've waited this long, so let's just wait a little bit longer to now see where this rally goes to and where this rally takes us because I think that will be the key component that will let us know if we're right and that the actual tops of the markets are in. The cryptocurrencies had a little bit of a rally. And of course, as we mentioned the other day, all the big players are getting in. So I, I expect to see the new ETFs, new ETFs on the cryptocurrencies. I expect to see a lot of things happening here. So what we're looking for here, I would expect to see a possible bond future rally which means interest rates a little bit lower, but that would be just a dead cat bounce. That would be another selling opportunity. I'd look for an opportunity to sell in the equity rally. All my signs show that we should start to head lower, but that does not mean there will not be rallies that you're going to have to, to, to either, if you're short, you're going to have to hold on to it or wait. My recommendation is you wait to see a rally, look for a spot you want to get in, and then sell it. That's how I see it. This is Bubba's Daily Update, Todd Bubba Horwitz. And of course, uh, don't forget about our high school investing program. If you'd like to help us, go to Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And of course, don't forget to catch the Bubba Show every day from 4 to 5 Eastern at LibertyTalk.fm and Football Monday. So who do we like today? Uh, a small little bit. We like the Washington Redskins plus the six and a half. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with Bubba's Daily Update. Take care.